So how's this for a story? Yesterday, I messed up. But wait, what, what did you do wrong? You didn't die, you didn't get any dinosaurs killed. Well, no, but we, we did sacrifice a couple of them, if you remember correctly. In fact, we sacrificed three prime tapajaras. Wait, no, no, actually, that's actually an incorrect statement. We only sacrificed two prime tapajaras. The third one that we sacrificed... <sighs> as I have been notified via the comments of that video, was actually a unique Tapajara Prime. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, when you evolve a Prime Dinosaur, whether it's from one of these guys or it's evolving a Prime Compi into a Prime. By the way, we haven't even discussed that yet. We'll go over that soon. But there is a very, 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 very low chance that you will get yourself a unique prime dinosaur well i didn't notice and i killed it i sacrificed it and all i got out of it was this stinking red ape which look with all due respect this ape is pretty he's pretty tough he's pretty tough but is he unique no unfortunately not anyways thank you for listening to my ted talk on how i messed up despite not knowing that i messed up i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time so obviously we're still in the process of working towards just getting stronger dinosaurs and as it stands we do have a few options moving forward we do we have obviously summoned in a few pretty pretty strong guys one of them dead our dimorphodon unfortunately this guy here probably being our next strongest now i haven't really taken him to test against anything but he deals a ridiculous amount of damage he's just really really i guess vulnerable because he's on the ground he can't fly away from you know uh these troubles but i'm kind of thinking of busting him out today just seeing what we can do with him i feel like it'd be a bit of fun i mean he shouldn't be in too much danger the guy deals like 50 000 damage with his giant balls of poop the thing is i want to summon in a new ancient and to do that it's gonna come at the sacrifice of some of these guys or or these guys it, it was one or the other the problem is i don't really have what i need to get these guys evolved to sacrifice i did go and kill a couple primes after last video but i uh, didn't get many meats i got enough for maybe one evolution but not multiple evolutions which actually kind of leads to what i want to look at right this second I'm going to be evolving something a little different. This little guy, our little gerboa, the guy that we, well, we actually tamed him up quite a while ago and then we kind of like just ignored him and neglected him and never looked back at him. But these guys have a really cool, unique ability that I think it's time that we check out. Let's give our little book of docs a little bit of a read. If you evolve one of these into its prime form, which I'm hoping to do in just a second, you can get to a stage where by sacrificing prime dinosaur heads in their inventory, you can re-roll blueprints but what i'm most interested in is here basically these blueprints can be re-rolled into either really powerful weapons or prime kibbles hearts or meats they're three things that we need a lot of right now so i was thinking let's roll the dice have a bit of a gamble and see what this little guy can do for us first things first let's actually have a look at our meat supply currently we at least have some candies so we can get him up hopefully one level uh and after that we have five seven i can't count why am i not counting uh 12 14 15 16 17 18 i'm seven meat short so i guess uh taking out big boy king kong over there might be a good idea but first off let me see how many of these candies it's gonna take to get you well evolved buddy what do we got for you what can you do for me can you can you can you give me something good can you like do it on the first shot please i guess i i mean i think that was the first shot because i didn't see any failed attempts uh dude the guy looked at, yeah he did damn he gave me four candies back he's only level 420 though and that is a little bit of a problem because the higher level your gerbo are the better i guess rolls of the dice you end up getting from these uh these sacrifices oh and by the way check this out i got myself did i leave it up here i one of the primes i killed i got one of these i don't know where i put it wait what, where did i put it i got a gun the one that I needed the other day to, to fire on the poison golem. I, where did I place the thing? This one. It's in my inventory, you absolute imbecile. This guy right here, the fabricated sniper rifle. These here are apparently really good against poison golems. So, yeah, that's... I, except I had an ascendant one beforehand. And now I don't because I broke it like an absolute banana. Anyways, King Kong, come with me, friend. I'm going to jump upon the back of Schmolder. I like Smolder. Smolder's my favorite. And I know exactly where we're going to go first. Look at this Megalodon, man. I think it's a Prime. Normally, they just beat themselves and die for some reason. Yeah, that is a Prime. Oh, that was unique. Sorry, not a Prime, an Apex. Well, thank you for your artifacts anyways. But I'm currently heading over here to check out a Dodecurus. I think he was around here. 
Uh, when I was killing primes earlier, there was a Dodie on this beach. I hope he's still out here, but the problem is he has his crazy healing buff. Oh, there he is. I'm looking straight at him. <laughs> I want to test my monkey against him to see if my monkey can combat the extra fast HP regen. Oh, wow. Smolder, man. What in the world do we have got going on here? You, you what is the, the where? Where have you keep, been keeping this loot? Now that I know it's there, we'll unpack it when we get back to base. But King Kong, my friend, you, me, and the little dude on my shoulder, I think are a pretty good chance. Also, I need to demonstrate this here. I don't think he'll attack me until I attack him. I need to demonstrate this. When you headshot, it's around... Oh, that was a terrible throw. All I want to do is headshot this Pteranodon. So Pteranodons cop extra damage when you headshot them. I hit one earlier and it dealt like 120,000 damage. All right, that's just what a regular shot looks like then. All right, well, don't curious, mate. Let's see what I can do to you. Look at that, 40,000 damage, dude. If I can just, if I can just, if I can just, oh, okay, I'm a little nervous, but we got him just like that. That's what I'm talking about, man. Maybe this ancient King Kong ain't so bad after all because that was ridiculously good. Also, I got this. Repel bugs and most annoying small animals. You know what? I got nothing better to wear in the slot, so I might as well put that on. We also got three meats. I can't remember exactly how many we're looking for, but three meats is better than no meats. That's really, really, really good. Hey, Dilo. <laughs> Prime Compy nearby. What? Oh! <gasps> No, don't throw a poop at it. Um, I need to tame that. The, the, but, but, but prime copies are seriously rare. Um, and they're really, really helpful. You can use them to... Okay, hold on. All right, this is actual like game-changing stuff right here. I have not tamed a prime compy yet, but I, I, need to, I need to tame a prime compy right now if given the opportunity. No items selected. I just want all the items. Thank you very much. Okay, hold on a second. Change your plans right here, right now. Smolder, you can knock stuff out, right? I think. I'm hoping you can knock out this Prime Compy. I just can't remember what Prime Compies require to tame them. My Spyglass is saying meat, but I feel like you need a Prime Kibble or something. But here he is. Um, I'm going to try this out, hey? Yeah, okay. Does the job. Does the job. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, he hits pretty hard, man. For a little Compy, I'll give him some credit. Dang! Right, I should really start carrying around Trank stuff with me, shouldn't I? Oh, he's got his little comping buddies as well. Oh my God. I can't believe we actually found one of these out here. That's so good. This is so good. Oh, he's gone to the ocean. No, what are you doing? Come back. Come back. Go back to land. Do not come out to the ocean. What are you doing? Yes, that's right. Literally, literally there's a Megalodon ready to grab you. Get out of here. I have lost the compy though. All because I don't carry around poison stuff anymore. Oh, I got grenades. I had grenades this entire time. Here he is. Here he is. Hold on. It's okay. All right, here we go. Hey, take that. Take that. Go to sleep. I don't care if I knock my manticore out in the process. All I need is this guy to go to sleep. And my grenade isn't working on it. Why not? All right, get out of here, whoever's biting my toes. All right, the compy's still... He's just here. I don't know what he's doing here. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm best off just doing it myself. I'd I'd, I'd like him to get out of the water because, you know, piranhas and stuff like that. Mate, can you just leave the water, please? I just got to hit you one more time. Got him. All right. Now, it says I need meat. I don't even know if I've got I got meat. I got meat. Hey, buddy, if it's meat that you want. <gasps> did I, use, I used a health potion. I've got like two health potions. Why did I use a health potion? Anyways, is prime meat going to get the job done here or not? I have no idea. But um, take a grenade. That might help. Usually that's good at making these guys extra hungry. Yes, it is. Okay, nice. Come on, buddy. Let's get that meat into you. That's two down to three to go. You guys have no idea how absolutely pumped I am about this. This is so good. This is honestly one of those just rare occasions. You run into something unexpected, but so darn exciting. You got, oh, you have no idea. You have no idea what you're in for, guys. Oh, <laughs> I am kind of nervous about something running up on me like a King Kong. I've died to too many King Kongs recently to the point I'm kind of traumatized by it. But, um, buddy, I need you to just eat that last piece, will you? Here, here, here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready? Ready? There we go. All right. Eat that last piece, mate. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. All right. I am not wasting this opportunity. Uh, oh, who is that? Who is that? Oh, snap.
All right, I haven't seen any death messages yet, but we are close. Oh, Sako's dead. Sako's dead? I think Sako's dead. Is everyone alive? I repeat, is everyone, everyone, it looks pretty alive. I have no idea who killed the Sarko, but good. Oh boy. All right, I should put this on before a, another Sarko comes to ruin my day. All right, you, buddy. Wow. I, you were the one I was probably not most worried about, but most likely to die, I would say. Also, did I just, did it say you're level one? Why are you level one? When did, why are you level one, mate? You're like meant to be like not level one. Interesting. Don't know. Compete. Time to enter your little soul bowl. You know what? Zombie carnage, mate. Yep, you're going to go in your soul bowl as well. And smolder, mate. Let's get our hineys off the ground because I don't like this place right this second. So I want to give you guys a little bit of context as to the importance of the prime compi. Basically, you can evolve a prime compi into any of these dinosaurs that you're currently looking at. Prime Dimorphodons, Die Bears, Mega Rex, Dragon, Scorpion. Yeah, that's right. Dragon, Lava Golems. I don't know which I would be focusing on or interested in, but basically they're all kind of hard to do uh, because you need items. Prime Heart Relic, for example. Apex Fire Wyvern Talon. Prime Zomdodo Brain. I can get this. <gasps> I can literally do this. All right, I might need to look through that list and see all the different options that we've got at our disposal because that is interesting. Very, very interesting. Now I'm, you have no idea how excited I am to get back to base to test this out. But anyways, um, I was going to come and check out this guy from yesterday as well. Uh, he obviously kicked our butts. And by kicked our butts, I mean he just didn't want to die because he's got that crazy healing buff as well. But the problem is he's got his little friend that he summons in. And his friend deals a lot of damage. So I basically need to... Oh, who's been poisoning me right this second? Dilo? Must have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time or something. Uh, but basically, I'm hoping my gorilla boy can help me take this guy down faster than he can possibly heal up. That is the plan. I have no idea if, you know, we're going to succeed at that. But, you know, you got to try. There's no way to know otherwise. So, my ancient friend. Also, I can't believe I used that health potion. I, I don't even know when I used it, but that, oh, that was such a, such a bad move. Anyways, um, oh, great. This is going to go so bad, isn't it? If I can take out, he's like, oh, yeah, I, I'm not feeling confident about this. Okay, never mind. Not bad. Okay, hold on, hold on. As long as I can hit him. Oh, oh no. I looked out of the range. Dude, I he, all I got to do is hit him with three. And because I got my little dude on my shoulder... We're actually going to gain stamina really quick. So I should be able to just keep on throwing these. But look how close I'm getting with them too. All right. That was a good shot. And one more. One more. Come on. One more. Why is he not? I don't know. Why is he not aggro? It almost freaks me out that he's not angry with me. Because these guys are incredibly aggressive. But. Oh, come on. I just need to hit two back to back. That's all I. Why am I such a bad shot with this poop? How hard is it to throw poop? Come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. I can hit one, but I can't go back to back. You'd think you hit one, the next one would be easy. All right, let me just let my stamina recharge. No idea why he's not engaging me. Kind of buzzes me out that he's not. But now that he's really close, I feel like it's only a matter of time. Got him! Yes! Yes! Uh, what do we got? We got a head. We got uh, another one of these. I don't need any more of these. Um, we've got... That's about it. I think we got a few pieces of meat. In fact, we might actually have enough meat now. I wouldn't mind finding one more prime before heading back to base, though. Ooh, speaking of base, I think I might start tomorrow. I don't know. I really want to start this new base, but I'm, like, having too much fun, like, taming stuff and summoning stuff and killing stuff. But I, I think this is where we're going to be building the new base. I, I think. I can't decide. I still like this spot for some reason. I feel like I could... I feel like I could do some pretty sweet stuff with here. All right, let's take you through the desert and see what we can find in there. Well, we didn't end up finding any more primes, unfortunately. And I am ridiculously heavy. Hold on just a second. Take my 
rocks and okay my boy here got a bunch of stuff on him and i really need to go through and sort out all of this but we'll save that for a rainy day that's not here nor there or anywhere right this second right now we need to find out do we have enough meat to finally well do what we gotta do i suppose do we do we have enough there's gotta be <laughs> there's gotta be 25 meat here right i'm just gonna quickly dump all of my extra goodies over here really quickly and i'll sort through it another time now let me count this meat hey we have ourselves 7 14 uh, it's looking pretty good 21 24 and 25 with a few pieces left over for good luck so buddy are you ready to be evolved hopefully to your final actually no there is no hopefully this is it 100 you should 100 evolve up to your perfect form in a second right or am i am i forgetting something I'm always forgetting something, so hopefully that's something. Hopefully there isn't a something right this second. Oh, wait a second. It turns out I just can't do maths. I think I am actually. I think we might actually have the perfect amount of meat here. Hold on just a second. How far off was I with the count? 7, 14, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, <laughs> 23, 24, 25. Yeah, it turns out I just can't do maths. I don't know what I was thinking just then, but now we should have the perfect amount of meat in there. Otherwise, maybe I have forgotten. No, there we go. There we go. Here we go, baby. There it is. And on that note, we have ourselves. Imagine if this comes out unique. No, it's just an ordinary Apex Jabber Prime level 1171. And although he still does look very, very small, he is indeed exactly what the doctor ordered. So I'm pretty sure these guys can't be leveled up, but I don't actually know for certain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that like that's it. There's no ifs or buts about it. So that's as high level as we're probably going to get out of the guy. And I can still pick him up. Oh, dude, that's cool. Yeah, he is definitely a prime. Now, what we can actually do with him is sacrifice him. We're obviously not going to do that. We have better plans for him. Um, but it seemed like, what was, what did he give me? Hold on. Here he goes. HP, stamina, damage buff, and a defense buff. Dude, the thing is tough. These guys are powerful. Oh, so I guess it is a prime and you can put it on your shoulder. It's the only real prime pet you can put on your shoulder. That's actually really, really handy. So we need to combine... Vanilla projectile firing weapon blueprints. So basically vanilla weapon blueprints. I don't, I think I've actually dropped a lot of those. So that's a little disappointing. Please tell me I've got some blueprints in here and I haven't dropped them. All. I need, oh, I've only got two and they're not even vanilla. Oh no, no, no. And I can't even make blueprints with my uh, upgrade station either. So that's double bad. Um, I'm going to try some armor ones just to see what happens with those. All right, I'll try that one there just, just to see if it works. And then in here... Yeah, I'm not really... No, that's that's unfortunate. How about down here? We got we got any weapons of any sort or is it all sad? It's all saddles. But basically what you're meant to be doing with this is combining it with a head, a prime head. I'll do an Argentavis because we can kill them pretty easily now. You drop the two of them in here and then it's up to him what he goes and rolls it into. Unfortunately for us, uh, that is not a weapon, but that's fine. We do have an option. I am going to basically leave base and we're just going to run, run amok on the beach. Actually, my guy, have you got any blueprints on you? You've got this, but that's not a vanilla weapon. Oh, hello. Uh, that's not what I came out here looking for, but I'll be more than happy to kill you <laughs> if you want it. <laughs> no, I am looking for just regular apexes to kill. Not primes, but hey, uh, why not? Why not? Why not? Oh my gosh. That was a really, really, really good hit. Um, I, I'm feeling up to it. I'm feeling up to it if you are, especially because you seem like a really bad shot compared to most giant gorillas I be fighting. Oh, please don't hit me with the poop though. Don't want one of those hitting me. Also, I forgot to bring Pigby with me, so I'm already a little bit annihilated in the stamina department. And okay, you're best on me right now. Okay, good on you, mate. At the end of the day, though, he could kill two birds with one stone. One, we get a prime kill. Two, we get the items from it. But three, he might even give us a just a regular weapon blueprint. We've got him on the ropes. He's running. He wants nothing to do with us. But I've still got 15,000 to deal. So unfortunately for him, he's still got a little bit to do with us. In fact, one last hit, and now he can be free. And we actually got some pretty sweet drops from that. Yo, we got a pick me drop. That's awesome. We need more of those. We got some meat. We got some other stuff, but unfortunately, not a single blueprint. Although that looks like a prime. That's a, sorry, not a prime. A unique, unique. Oh my gosh, unique apex. Did that give me any blueprints? Also, why did this guy not give me anything special? Surely they each dropped a backpack of some sort down here. There it is. Oh, damn. We got meats in there. And it Wait, what? 
Oh yeah, that's right. I completely forgot. I completely forgot Apex Spinos, Apex Rexes, and all of that sort of stuff also gives meat. Oh my gosh, that would have saved me so much time earlier today. We were obviously hunting for meat. I forgot you don't actually need to kill primes to get them. You can just get them from regular dinosaurs. Oh man, look at that. That was a really good drop too. Ooh, that is 100%. I was gonna say, yeah. I should really tame this up though. I really got to get around to getting myself another unique apex. That way I can breed them together into some like super apexes. Um, but anyways, I think we're a bit beyond that at this point. Anyways, still no blueprints, but good loot at least. And that's, that's what matters, I guess. As long as we're getting something from these kills, it's not all for nothing. Along here is actually a pretty sweet area when you think about it, actually. Is that a mega man? Nah, that's not a mega. If it was a mega, it would have unloaded. That there is just a regular. I'm going to kill these guys. These guys are just apexes. And this guy doesn't look like he's even got a nest. Oh, he's making me work for it, though, by flying up to the top of the map. Oh, he's turning. Trying to... Okay, nice. Nice try. I respect it. But, buddy, you're going to die, mate. What do you got for me? Just more weapons and... <laughs> we are just chockers full right now. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Someone's going to give me this blueprint. That guy ain't giving me nothing, though, because he's guarding a nest. Is that a prime? Just an alpha. All right, guys, reminds me from now on, we are killing every apex we come across, so we never need to hunt for this stuff again. Oh, I thought that was like a cool raptor or something, but nope, just a it. Ooh, unique apex mammoth. I didn't even know mammoths could come in like unique. Well, no, I guess that makes sense. Everything can come in unique form, but they can come in apex form. Um, Did it drop me anything though? I do not see a backpack. Wow, what a boring mammoth. Alpha Rex, Alpha Spino, not good enough. <laughs> Look, I don't expect anything here to give us anything good, but I'm still... Wait, why aren't I checking supply drops? Supply drops are probably like the key to all of this. Oh, this diplo has got some resistance on him. My gosh. I just want to kill you for the principal now. Well, you're the last of the big boys around here, so we may as well finish you off. There we go. The whole school. Ooh, a little raptor running down into the mix too. See you later, buddy. What's that blue thing down there? Hold on a second. Oh, Allosaurus. A really cool looking Allosaurus. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. What is this little blue thing down here though? A mega compi? Wait, what? That's... Can I... I think I can kill that. Is that like... Is it... That's a... That's a mega. I've never, I've got, we've never killed a mega before. In fact, we're, I don't think we're ready for megas, but that's, that's a mega. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Okay, hold on a second. It's only got 64,000 health. Um, if I can, uh, if I can hit it with some pretty good attacks. The downside here is it does have super healing. Um, unless he has some crazy ability that I don't know about. I'm going to give this a crack and we might be able to kill our very first mega today. Although a very kind of non-exciting one, but still it's a mega nonetheless. Um, okay, this might actually be tough. I might need the fire breath of a dragon to actually succeed in this. Or, yeah, now a bite's not going to cut it, is it? Um, hold on. Can I use my C attack on it? Oh, he hits pretty hard for it. Well, it's a mega. Okay, megas are, yeah, megas are meant to be strong, but he hits hard for a compi is what I was going to say. Um, man, I can't believe this little dude. As if he's got... Well, I don't even know where he's gone. He's so small. I actually have no idea where he went. There he is. Why you gotta have the extra fast healing? Could you have just been a little weak boy with absolutely nothing exciting about you? But no. Had to have crazy... Sp oh, my stamina is what's letting me down here. Of course. Yeah, all right. My manticore doesn't have what it takes to take this guy down, but... <gasps> Wait a second. I know just the guy who does. I've got this guy like on me right. Wait, hold on. How did I forget I had this guy? Hold on to your horses. I have no idea how I'm going to hit such a small target with a giant bowl of poop, but that I'm terrible at throwing accurately, but I'm still going to go for it. Um, I think I just, is he in the water? Is that him in the water? I think that's him in the water. That's him in the water. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, can I just punch you to death? Woo! All right, yeah, we're going to be careful here, though, because he does deal a lot of damage. We can't forget that part there. All right, who needs to throw boot when you can just punch stuff? I just need to be careful that there ain't anything. Oh, man. Can you come back? Come on. If I can just... Oh, one shot in the head, he'd be dead. One shot directly on him, and that would be it for this little guy. Stamina, though. Ah, oh, I hit something, but it wasn't him. 
Come back, little dude. I'm not done with you yet. Ah, ah, ah. Now he's full health again. See, if only I had a prime on me. Not a prime, a pygmy. If I had a pygmy to help me out here, we'd be set. He just hit for 4,000 damage. What? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, he'll be back. He'll be back. Or, dang it. Okay, hold on. Still going. Still going. Yeah, he's going to keep on running. Oh, he keep baiting me. Can you just <laughs> pile the trash, man? I'm actually faster than him, though. Oh, I can just I can just run him down. I can just run him down. What's he going to do about it? He's going to swim around in the ocean. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We did it. <laughs> we unlocked some tech stuff, too. What? Um, hello. Apex. <gasps> the Apex Yeti head. Oh, you're joking. Hey, Alpha Boa Hearts. We've got treats. We've got a Doc's mini nuke. We've got the zombie. Oh, <laughs> and the Mega Compy hand. Two of them. Um, <laughs> look, this sounds like nothing, but the Yeti. I literally have had messages telling me good luck when it becomes time to take down the Yeti. The Yeti is a ridiculously hard kill and we just got the main reason that you want to ever kill one. We don't really need to focus on one if that's the case. So that there is um, amazing to say the least. All right, we're going home. I'm pretty sure we've got no weapon blueprints, but who really cares? We just killed a mega and got some pretty mega loot out of it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, do we have some sorting to do here. Well, look, at least in good news, we remembered how to get meat, <laughs> which is like, well, look at this. We've already got like a massive stash of it just from that. I don't know. Was it a failed experiment? No way it wasn't. We just did amazing things. We've all right, I don't know what it is with us getting Kairukus, but we are starting to collect a good amount of them. And that's not even including the one that we sacrificed already. Yeti head, Zomdodo brains, this, that, this. Oh my gosh, we are like laughing right now. And I completely forgot about this guy. I didn't even realize this was a unique when we tamed it up. But what do you know? We got ourselves a unique compy rather than just a regular compy prime. I know I said we we're going to do it today. I really meant it, but we got a little distracted. I guess tomorrow we are going to try evolving this guy into, um, I don't know, something. So um, stay tuned. It's going to be awesome.